That was pretty weird. Can get, sis. All we need is for you to relax and be honest with me. Can we do that? Yes, Doctor. What do you do for a living? I'm a waitress. I work in a cafe. You do? Do you like it? No, it's people are okay. dicks. I don't mind it. It's just a job. It's important to keep busy. I'd advise you get back to work as soon as next week. I will. Describe to me what your mornings look like. Uh, well, if you've got, like, a unruly patient, sometimes you have to keep them chemically sedated. I mean, are you a doctor? Because then I could... I, I don't think it should be the first line of defense, but it's an option. And she could just be crazy. Again, she was in withdrawal from heroin if she's on methadone. That's kind of a big deal. I have a cup of tea and read a newspaper. Perhaps having some breakfast first would improve how you feel through the day. Just something to think about. Sure. You're not my dad. I try that. Would you say that you feel safer at home? than outside. Not really. I don't feel that safe at all. How can you feel safe these days anyway? You can be living next door to a murderer and blow your head off for a bit of fun. I could Local be that murderer. An old man on fire as in my character. Day. They filmed him as he burned to his death. I knew this woman. She slipped on a wet bathroom floor, cracked her head open, and broke a leg. She lied there, bleeding for two days, unable to move. By the time they found her, it was already too late. Well, that sucks. Susan, taking risks is a part of life. What do you think is missing in your life? Or rather, what is one thing that you think would make your life better? Well, the thing is, with heroin, you can't really treat it with much. You have to supplant that with methadone to feed the physical addiction. Or at least it takes the edge off. Especially if you're really deep in the hole. You basically, at least in Britain, you get put on methadone for life. A good friend. Someone I could finally trust. But I can't see anyone will turn up anytime soon. I've become a social hermit. People are I want to know what the red stuff is. You'll have to try to open up a bit. And why it comes from some weird heart heart spider from the dream realm. Work with you on that. Don't think it'll help much. I heard they're not very good. Really? Sorry to hear that. Have you ever attended group therapy for depression or some other form of counseling? Mm, nope. No. I'm not sure it's a good idea. Especially the group therapy thing. I'd hate it. You should at least give it a go first. You trying okay, to lead me into group therapy to start a fight like club it, or what? Think of something else. Yeah. If you insist. But I doubt it. We're going to get to kill everybody in the group. Do you have problems sleeping? Every night. I take pills for that. There aren't any left now though. In the light of recent events, I think you should stay off those pills for a while. I get on these pills drink instead. Some hot milk before bed instead. Would you describe? I think you mean me warm milk, hot milk. That curdles, gets kind of nasty. I fold is against me. Do you find it hard to concentrate? Everybody yes. does, though. Sometimes. Do you drink alcohol, Susan? Only sometimes. Only sometimes. I'd suggest you every time that's on the clock. Alcohol at all for a while. Does that sound like something you can do? Yeah, sure. I'm not a big drinker anyway. I'm a little drinker. Who drinks a lot? When life gets too much and people feel sad or upset, they think about suicide. Do you often think about suicide? I used to think about it sometimes. Don't you think about it when you're really down? 
Susan, I'm a psychiatrist. My job is to talk people You're out dodging of the question, sir. Did you ask a fireman if he ever thinks about setting fire to his house? I yeah. Not. Haven't you seen Backdraft? Sure people have times when they do think about it. I couldn't say, Susan. The statistics show that men are three times more likely than women to commit suicide. That puts you in the minority. But of course, that's missing the point. Suicide is never the solution. I think he's There's just making up that statistic. Whatever problem you might have. I realize that now. Please, in your own words, try to explain to me why did you really try to take your own life, Susan? Those pills were really tasty. Nothing was making me happy anymore. There wasn't a single thing that would bring a smile to my face. I kept thinking. I kind of like how this is choose your own crazy. I just disappear. I tried. I really tried to find something. Not to make light of to depression or anything, but. Picked up a book, watched some television, but I just couldn't get into anything. All those things seemed like worthless distractions, and I myself felt... So she saw the universe for what it is, is what she said. It just would get worse and worse. By the afternoon, I realized I cried for the past three hours. Girl, I, you need to smoke some weed. I didn't weed. even know I'd been crying until I went to the bathroom and saw my face in the mirror. I looked like a ghost. I looked like I was dead already, you know? Turns out I was. Woo! <laughs> Too spoopy. Why not? And I did it. A ghost wouldn't die by taking a bunch of sleeping pills, and we didn't die. Or that eh? life isn't worth eh? living. Sometimes, when I feel really low, I just... I used to think everyone would be happier without me. But I guess people don't really care. Besides, I live alone. Who could I be a burden to? What makes oh, you feel Lord. better? My cats. I always put out a bowl of food for the stray cats. Yep. They're ever so great. There we go, crazy cat oh, lady Tom. What makes you feel worse? People. They've let me down too many times. I'm I starting to turn autobiographical. I only trust my cats these days. This is really starting to turn autobiographical. Suicide note. <laughs> because that's true. I've been stabbed in the back more times than I could count. Literally or figuratively? Funeral, and how people will react to your death. Probably nobody would come anyway. Can you imagine it? Now that's a sad picture. Loved by no one. Missed only by some cats. No tears shed for me. No flowers on my grave. But that's okay. I never liked flowers. I wouldn't miss that. Finally, I'd like you to tell me about Eric. Who the hell's Eric? Eric? Yes, your husband. I believe this might Wait, be what? Important. This is news to me. What can you tell me about your relationship? What had happened between you two? He wasn't a cat. This has nothing to do with him. Can I go home now, please? Hmm. Fine. I suppose you've opened enough for one day. Okay, one more question. This is just a formality, but I have to ask, are you going to do it again? That's a hard one. I don't know. But hey, I've got it. The answer is no, I'm not. Thank you very much. Excellent. We are nearly done here. There's just one more thing I must clear with you. What exactly happened last night? Well, after I'd met you outside the ward yesterday, I went back to my room and fell asleep. I slept really well, considering what happened earlier. But then someone... Oh, so what? Up. It was the same nurse who was so friendly with me the first night. She I miss this. Oh, wait, no, that might have been at the beginning of, or part of the last you episode. Go, Susan. You are not safe. But please, you must follow me quickly. This just got weird. Oh, that's kind of cool. You get to move inside the I little window. 
The ward seemed very quiet. It must have been later. It's a nice touch. Harry. For all the jokes I'm cracking, I really like this game. It's Wait pretty for me. awesome. Tell me what's going on here. security guys were gone. She pointed at the corridor and said, Can't really, uh, agree or disagree, Gohan. I never really played that much Shadowgate. I guess we're going. Go to corridor. Susan, if we don't escape now, they're going to hurt you. Please trust me. I know a way out of here. I'll help you escape. Let's go down this corridor. I'll be right behind you. Still locked. I think I can hear someone coming. Well, yeah, the nurse is coming. We can't go through there. Let's turn back, Susan. I know another way. Do you? I get a drink first and thirsty. No, really, I'm thirsty. Nope. Turn left here. We can use the maintenance lift to get us out of this place. Adventures! Ding! Peace! Where did this end then? I mean, obviously we got caught if I got stuck in the place and the nurse is gone. Either fired or dead. What are we doing on the roof? Liz. Oh, uh, that's weird. What the hell are you doing? And why is there blood on your clothes? Wait, what? Liz. What? It's quicker than the stairs. And besides, all the doors are locked anyway. This is the only way out of here. What? Let's both jump. It won't hurt. You'll see. This is a bad idea. Let's go weird. I've made up my mind. I need to end this suffering now. Besides, I have no one to live for anyway. No one ever listened to me. No one ever cared. I listened. You're a nice girl. You have your whole life ahead of you. You listened. Did you really? Of course I did. This is you weirder than the not, blood but the drug answer. spider. I liked talking to you. So do you remember that story then? The one I told you the other night? The one about the woman in A and E? The one who kicked the security guy in the crotch. You just made that up, didn't you? I've never said such a thing. You're a liar. But, okay, I can prove to you that I listened. Just don't jump. Please. I wasn't paying attention the other time. I should have reviewed my video. Fine. I'll give you a second chance. Did I tell you about my flatmate? Did I tell you what one of them does for a living? If you really listened, you will remember this one. She's a stripper. Yes. Or at least that's what I think. Okay, I remember is. the stripper. You've listened. I just wish other people did. I'm sure they do. It can't be that bad. What do you know? Why do you care anyway? I don't want you to make the same mistake I did. I thought you of all people knew how it feels when you're trapped and you can't trust anyone. Look, I'm well, sure yeah. there must be someone who cares about you. My colleagues don't care, my family don't care, even my fucking boyfriend never cared. He said he needed to go find himself. Did I tell you when he broke up with me? That was Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. I remember yes. that being particularly scummy. Valentine's Day. You got this one right. 
But it's not enough. Don't feel responsible. You didn't cause me this pain, this suffering. I have to do this to be free again. Jump with me, Susan. Do it while you still can. No. Well, shit. The first one wasn't wrong, I should go on. Huh? Were you paying attention? <laughs> 